I love just hanging out in the lounge. I feel like a housewife just cruising outside by her pool. This is the life. The kids are away for eight hours, five times a week, and I can just chan and snooze by my fancy pool. Ah, oh, I love my life. Reapstar, we are going to the Cheesecake Factory tonight. Who's going? Well, you, me, uh, and Bethany. It's Bethany, you, and I. Hannah is coming, and she's bringing her English project member person. Brenna and Cinder, Cindy are coming. Um, Brenna's also bringing her friend. So, table for eight? I would so be there, but, like, my editor is making me stay late to work on an article about world news. Well, that sucks. And I have that stupid philosophy paper to work on. Every time I see you, you're working on your philosophy paper, Corey. Let me see your progress. Oh my gosh, you haven't written anything. I wrote the title. That's nothing. Reebstar, I love writing journalism, but I can't write about a ph philosophical issue. It's hard. You better get cracking like one of those tough nutcrackers. Everyone's coming separately. Oh, look, here's Cindy Hannah and Hannah's English project member person. Hi, everybody. I'm Abigail. Nice to meet you. When Hannah told me, like, we could go to the Cheesecake Factory, I was like, yes. We rarely go, Abigail. It's a rare treat. We're here every other day, but you don't see me complaining. I'm going to get a salad. And cheesecake. Duh, it cancels out. So my quad mate's bugging me so badly, guys. Oh, why? She's messy, she's stupid, and she's black. Oh, shoot, Abigail's a racist. This is more awkward than when Bethany loudly farted in the busy bookstore. Oh, look at the Clarence items. Oh, my gosh, Clarence items. Oh, my gosh, look at that book. Oh, my gosh, there's a new author, 20% off. Oh, my gosh. <laughs> what a lovely afternoon. I do not condone her behavior. I am the king of diversity. I can't stand her, but I have to do this project with her. Why do you bring her to the Cheesecake Factory? This place is too fancy for prejudiced people. It's like finding a shark in the forest. No clip for that metaphor? Psh, whatever. So then I said, Hannah, I'm not feeling it. I'm feeling this less than the musical version of Lost. Wait, he gets a clip for his metaphor? The airplane, the airplane, why did it fall through the ground again? Oh, Brenna's here with her friend. Hey guys, this is Joy. Hi, nice to meet you. Hello. Hi. It's my first time at the Cheesecake Factory. I'm sure it is, because there are no cheesecake factories in the ghetto. First of all, I don't live in the ghetto. I live in Bay Village, Ohio, by the way. Second of all, what a blatant stereotype. I just call it like I see it, so weighty. Excuse me? You're excused. Whatever. Anyway, I was telling Brenna a story involving my hairdresser. She messed up your weave. It shows, honey. Oh, this girl's asking for it. Um, I'm thinking of having the pumpkin cheesecake. That sounds good, but it's kind of out of season. Um, well, I mean, I don't want to be mean to you, Reapstar, but it is a, you know, October cheesecake, and it's not October. I, well, I would think of that, Nicole, but the fact is that, you know, I want the pumpkin cheesecake. I have never been more insulted in my life. I am out of here. I can go to another fancy restaurant. We don't eat here because it's fancy. We eat here because we love cheesecake. We are the cheesecake biatches. <laughs> I'm going to feel guilty about eating this, aren't I? They go to the club, everybody. Oh, no. And Bethany gets really upset. And they find out why she gets upset. And I think Cindy crashes something.